Hello, how are you today? Today I'm going to tell you about my family. Now, this is my family tree. My family tree. This is my mother, father, this is me, Molly, sister, brother, brother. And on this side, grandmother and grandfather. Okay? Grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, Molly, sister, brother, brother. Now, also we have husband, daughter, and son. Okay? So, husband, wife, husband, wife, daughter, son. Now, who else do we have in this family? We have child, one child, one child, two children. So, I have two children. My daughter is one child. My son is one child. My daughter and son are two children. Now, my grandmother, my mother, me, my daughter. My children are granddaughter, And my son is grandson. Okay? One, two, three, four levels. Now, we can also say that uh, we have my sister. My sister is aunt. Aunt and uncle, uncle, okay, aunt, uncle, uncle. Now, going this way, daughter is the niece, niece, the girl, the son is nephew. Nephew. All right? It's very complicated, but we've got it. Okay. Now, my brother has two children. So my brother has a daughter and a son. My daughter and my sons are cousin. Okay? So cousin cousin. So, grandmother, grandfather. Let's do this. Mother, father. Husband, wife. Husband and wife. Daughter, son. One child, two children. Granddaughter, grandson. Now we have the aunt of the daughter and son, aunt, uncle, uncle, nephew, niece, and cousins. All right, this is my family tree. Now, let's listen to and say these words. Grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, Sister, brother, 
daughter, son, granddaughter, grandson, child, children, aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, and cousin. Okay, those are the words for family. Family, this, that, these, those. All right, now we're going to review this, this, that, that, these, and those. This, that, these, and those. Now, I'm going to show you more pictures. This is my mother. That is my brother. These are my sisters. And those are my brothers. Now, here's a question. Who is this? Who is this? This is my mother. Who is this? This is my mother. Okay, now, who is this? This is my mother. Who is that? That is my brother. Who are they? These are my sisters. Who are they? Those are my brothers. Now, let's remember the possessive pronouns again. Possessive pronouns. My name, my name, your name, your name, his name, her name, its name, our name, your name, and their name. My name, your name, his name, her name, its name, our name, your name, and their name. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you some information about my family. This is my mother. Her name is Joyce. This is my father. His name is Alan. This is my sister. Her name is Peggy. This is my brother. His name is Andy. This is my brother. His name is Ian. Now, let me ask some questions. Ali, who is this? That is your mother. And what is her name? Her name is Joyce. Isabel, who is this? That is your brother. And what is his name? Mm, his name is Ian. Yes, that's right. And Lisa, who is this? That is your sister. And what is her name? Her name is Peggy. Now, ask me about my family. Lisa? How old is your mother? She's 66 years old. Isabel. How old is your sister? She's 50 years old. Ali. How old are your brothers? They're 44 and 45 years old. Now, look and listen. Look and listen. Who is this? This is my sister. 
Who is that? That is my father. Who are they? These are my sisters. Who are they? Those are my brothers. Read and repeat. I want to introduce you to more of my family. This is my grandmother. This is my grandfather. This is my aunt. This is my uncle. This is my husband. This is my daughter. This is my son. These are their cousins. And these are my niece and nephew. Now, ask me some questions about my family. Ali? How old is your daughter? She's 25 years old. Isabel? How old is your son? He's 23 years old. Lisa? How old are they cousins? They are 8, 10, 12, 23 and 25 years old. Ali? How old is your grandmother? She's 96 years old. Wow. Isabel? How old is your grandfather? He's 100 years old. Oh, wow. Lisa? How old is your aunt? She's 80 years old. Where is she from? She's from Canada. Ali? How old is your uncle? He's 85 years old. Where is he from? He's from France. Isabel. Where are your daughter and son from? They're from the U.S. Very good. Thank you very much. Family. Singular and plural. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about singular and plural nouns. Singular is one, one. Plural is two plus. All right. Now, in English, usually we add S to make plural, but some words are special. Now, look. Mother, mother. Mothers, father, fathers, fathers, sister, sisters, brother, brothers, daughter, Daughter, daughters, son, sons, aunt, aunts, and uncle, uncles. Now, we have mother, mothers. Father, fathers, sister, sisters, brother, brothers, daughter, daughters, son, sons, aunt, aunts, uncle, uncles. Now, some are special, so we have child, child, children child children okay 
Now let's practice. Here's the question. How many mm -mm, do you have? How many mm -mm, do you have? I have mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Okay? How many mm -mm do you have? I have mm -mm, mm -mm. Now, for example, how many brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. I have two brothers. How many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. They're my brothers. Another question, how many mothers do you have? How many mothers do you have? I have one mother. How many mothers do you have? I have one mother. Okay? Now, let's practice. Ali, how many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. Are they Turkish? Yes, they are. Do they speak Turkish? Yes, they do. Do they speak English? No, they don't. Ali, ask Isabel. Isabel, how many sisters do you have? I have two sisters. Do they speak French? Yes, they do. Do they speak English? Yes, they do. Isabel, ask Lisa. Lisa, how many cousins do you have? I have ten cousins. Wow, where are they from? Five cousins are from Germany, five cousins are from the U.S. Do they speak English? Yes, they do. Lisa, ask me. How many children do you have? I have two children. Are they Canadian? No, they aren't. They're American. Do they speak English? Yes, they do. All right, very good. Now, look and listen. Look and listen. How many brothers do you have? I have three brothers. How many uncles do you have? I have five uncles. How many cousins do you have? I have 13 cousins. Read and repeat. talk about some more vocabulary for family members. Now here we go. Married. Married. Okay, I'll show you these in a minute. Single. Engaged. Divorced. And widowed. Now, look. Single. Single, single. Engaged, engaged. Now, married. So, single, engaged, my diamond. Married, married. Divorced, widowed. Okay? Now, again, married, married. Single, single. Engaged, engaged. Divorced, 
divorced and widowed. Widowed. Okay? Married, single, engaged, divorced, and widowed. Okay, now, when we use these in sentences, we use them with be. For example, I am divorced. I am divorced. Question, are you divorced? I am divorced. Are you divorced? So, let's practice. Students and assistants, let me ask you some questions. Lisa, are you single? Yes, I am. Are you engaged? No, I'm not. Isabel, are you married? No, I'm not. I'm single. Ali, are you divorced? No, I'm not married. I'm single. Okay, now you ask me about my family. Ali? Is your daughter married? No, she isn't. Hmm. Uh-uh, Ali, she lives in the U.S. Okay. Okay, Lisa? Is your brother married? Yes, he is. How many children does he have? He has two children. Isabel? How old is your son? He's 23 years old. Is he single? Yes, he is. Good. Very good. Now, look and listen. Look and listen. My mother is married. My sister is divorced. My brother is engaged. My daughter is single. My grandmother is widowed. Read and repeat. Now let's practice a little bit. All right, I want you to tell me about your family. Isabel? Okay, my mother is 45 years old. She is nice. My father is 47 years old. He is funny. My sisters are 15 and 17 years old. They are tall and beautiful. Okay, thank you. Lisa? Okay. My mother is 48 years old. My father is 49 years old. They are serious and nice. My sisters are 16 and 18 years old. They are pretty. My brother is 23 years old. He is tall and good looking. All right. Thank you very much. Ali? My mother is 40 years old. She's beautiful. My father is 45 years old. He is handsome. My brothers are 8 and 13 years old. They are young. My sister is 18 years old. She is beautiful, but shy. All right. You have a very nice family. Thank you. Punctuation. Now, I want to talk about punctuation. Punctuation. These are the little marks that we use in writing, and these are the names in English. This is the period. This is what we say in the U.S. and Canada. In the U.K., it's called the full stop, but it's this, okay? Period or full stop. It's used after a sentence or after a short word such as Mr. or the U.S. Now, next is 
question mark question mark of course the question mark is used after questions okay next comma comma this is used in many places but especially lists for example one two three okay next is the hyphen we saw the hyphen it's used inside a word for example 21 okay it's inside a word to join two words and then finally we have an apostrophe this also is used inside words for example we saw do not don't okay now again this is the period or full stop question mark comma hyphen and apostrophe all right now here are some sentences I'm going to show you some sentences with no punctuation and we're going to change them here we go okay now we're going to practice punctuation First, I will write sentences, no punctuation. One, this is a sentence. This is a sentence. Two, we don't speak Chinese. We don't speak Chinese. Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? She is 43 years old. She is 43, oops. 43 years old and my brothers are 5, 8, and 10 years old. My brothers are 5, 8, and 10 years old. Now, we're going to have the assistance put in the punctuation. So, Lisa, do number one. This is a sentence, period. Period, yes, good. Okay, Ali, number two. We don't, an apostrophe, speak Chinese, period. Mm -hmm, good. All right, three, Isabel. Do you like pizza, question mark? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Lisa. She is 40, hyphen, 3 years old, period. Yes, good. And uh, last one, Isabel. My brothers are 5, comma, 8, and 10 years old, period. Okay. All right. There should also be a comma here. Okay? All right. Good job, all of you. Family, but. Now, we're going to use but to join sentences. We saw but before. So let's see it again. Uh, before, we saw but joining two adjectives. And it means different. Now I will show you how to use it with sentences. But shows difference. Look. 
I have two sisters, but I have no brothers. I have two sisters, but I have no brothers. But. Okay, another example. She has three children, but she has no grandchildren. Oops. Okay, she has three children, but she has no grandchildren. Okay, now let's practice. Now, I want you to tell me two different things about your family. So, Isabel. Okay, I had two aunts, but I have no cousins. Good. Now, Lisa. I have two grandfathers, but I have one grandmother. Is one grandfather widowed? Yes, he is. Okay. Now, Ali. I have three cousins, but I have no nephews. Good. Now, can you make other sentences with but? Ali. I'm single, but my father is married. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Lisa. My mother is married, but I am single. Okay, that seems to be our theme. Isabel. My grandmother is married, but my grandfather is widowed. Very good. Now, let's practice a little bit more. Let's review. Ali, where are you from? I am from Turkey. How many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. How old are they? They are 8 and 13 years old. Okay, are they handsome? Mm, yes. Now, ask Lisa some questions. Lisa, how is it going? Great, and you? Just fine. How many sisters do you have? I have two sisters. Uh, where are they from? They are from Germany. How old are they? They are 16 and 18. Are they pretty? Yes, they are. Hmm. Okay, Lisa, ask Isabel. Okay. Isabel, where are you from? I am from France. How many uncles do you have? I have three uncles. How many cousins do you have? I have ten cousins. Wow, where are they from? They are from France. Do they speak French? Yes, they do. Very good. Now, listen and write. Listen and write. Number one. M O T H E R. Number two. S O N. Number three, U N C L E. Number four, D A U G H T E R. Number five, W I F E. Okay, now listen and check your work. Number one, M O T H E R. Number two, S O N. Number three, U N C L E. Number four, D A U G H T E R. Number five, W I F E. Now listen and write these words. Number one, father. 
Number two, married. Number three, single. Number four, aunt. Number five, cousin. Now, check your work. Number one, father. Number two, married. Number three, single. Number four, aunt. Number five, cousin. Now, again, listen and write these sentences. Number one, how old are you? Number two, I'm 23 years old. Three, these are my brothers. Four, my brother is 44. Five, my children are from the U.S. Now, check your work. Number one, how old are you? Number two, I'm 23 years old. Number three, these are my brothers. Number four, my brother is 44. Number five, my children are from the U.S. All right, now, here is a short story. Read it and answer the questions. Read and answer. John is from Canada. His mother is from the U.S. and his father is from Canada. His mother is 40 years old. His father is 45 years old. John has one brother and three sisters. John is 22 years old. His brother is 20 years old. His sisters are 16, 12, and 10 years old. Now, listen to the questions and write your answers. Number one. How old is John? Number two, where is he from? Number three, where is his mother from? Number four, how old is his father? Number five, how old is his brother? Now, check your work. Number one, how old is John? He is 22 years old. Number two, where is he from? He is from Canada. Number three, where is his mother from? She is from the U.S. Number four, how old is his father? He is 45. And number five, how old is his brother? He is 20. Very good. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. Please, take a seat. Hi, Mrs. Christakos. Hi, Angie. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, too. What are you working on? 
I'm putting some old photos into a new photo album. Would you like to see some old photos of our family? Sure. I love looking at pictures, especially from other families. I want to learn more about Greece and the people there. This could be really fun. Angie, I hope my mother doesn't show you any baby pictures of me. She loves to show them to everyone. Alexi, that's because you have such cute baby pictures. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Oh, Alexi, we have a few minutes, and this could be really fun. Well, just tell me when you're ready to go. Who are the people in this picture? This is a photo taken over 50 years ago. The man on my right is my father, and the woman on my left is my mother. And that's me, when I was a baby. You are a beautiful baby in this picture, Mrs. Christakos. Thank you, Angie. Now, who are these people? This photo is a few years later. I'm not a baby anymore. There are two babies. I have a sister, Elena. She's two years younger than I am. And this is your go, Alexei's uncle. Oh, this is the name of Alexei's brother, isn't it? Yes. Alexei's brother, Yorgo, is named after his uncle. I see. My mother has a sister. Her name is Angela. That is who I'm named after. This picture is even older than the one before. This is a picture of my father <laughs> when he was a boy and his mother. This picture is over a hundred years old. Wow! So that is a picture of your grandmother and grandfather? And Alexi's great-grandparents. Yes, it is a very old picture. What about this photograph? It's in color. Is it newer? Yes, it is. This photo is a photo of my friends in high school. This is Irina. She still lives in Athens. And this was my boyfriend. Nikos. Who is this? This is a picture of my father and my sister on her wedding day. She is 21 years old. Her dress is very beautiful. Yes. These are my cousins, and they are twins. The one on the right is Carlos, and the one on the left is Paulo. Who is this? <sighs> this is one of my teachers from primary school, Mr. Sakis. I think he's dead now. Who are they? This is from my trip to Argentina. These are the famous gauchos, or cowboys. They take care of the cattle, and ride across the huge ranches. Do you remember their names? Yes, of course. This is Carlos mm. Rivera. Hmm. And this is Francisco Rodriguez. You have a very good memory, Mrs. Christakos. Here is a picture of some people in front of a house. Is this your family? Yes. <laughs> It's our summer house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does the house have a name? Yes, it's called Little Pink House. It's a very nice house, Mrs. Christakos. Do you go there every summer? Yes. When summer arrives, we all go to the Little Pink mm. House. Alexi loves it there. <laughs> it's on an island. Wow, I would love to see it. Angie, you're very welcome any time. Why don't you come with us this summer? Mm. Yes, it would be great if you come with us. 
You will love it. Alexei, actually, why don't you take all of your friends to the summer house for a mm. weekend or so? Sure.